Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video for Trader Joe's. So this was kind of an impromptu trip because um, I was meeting my sister for giving her some goodies and there is a local coffee shop that I really, really love um, right next to a Trader Joe's and I was gonna go to Aldi to get some eggs and things because it's cheaper there. But since it was a really cold and windy day, I just decided to go to Trader Joe's to get the eggs and apples. And then there was one other thing I needed, um, pasta sauce. Um, I just decided to go to Trader Joe's even though it cost a little bit more. But um, it was kind of like a bird in the hand situation where I didn't want to go anywhere else because it was literally right next door to the coffee shop. So um, I have my receipt out and this is a very short haul. Um, so I will try to be quick and I got some brand new Valentine's items and, um, I can try a couple things out, um, as I show them to you and yeah, I'm pretty excited about the stuff that I found because this is not my usual Trader Joe's. This, this is one that's like 25, 30 minutes away from my house. So they kind of have different things out at different times. So the first thing that I got was this pizza crust, and this was in the bread section. So it actually comes with two, and it's a light chewy crust with great flavor and texture. And I'm gonna make this for dinner tonight. And um, it's Best Buy um, 131, and today's the 28th. Um, a lot of their things were expiring the 30th, the 31st, um, February 1st or February 2nd so take that as you may um so I didn't really get too many things I really wanted to try the pancake bread again and expired on the 30th which is like in two days and I can't eat a whole pancake bread in two days and I wanted to try out so they had some really great cupcakes they had some really great muffins they had a lot of really great new stuff but I didn't want to try it um because it was all like expiring soon so and also, like, I didn't want, like, I have a bad habit of, this looks good, this looks good, this looks good, and then, like, we don't try it, or, like, we just take a nibble of it, like, right before it's about to expire, and it's really wasteful, so I'm trying not to do that. Um, so, I need to eat, like, the, the sweets and the breads and stuff that I have already before I commit to some more. So, these pizza crusts, you get two pizza crusts, and... Receipt's not that long, but I can't find it. Um, I don't think they bring it up because I don't see it. Anyways, if I find it, I'll let you know. Oh, um, it's three seventy nine. It's called two per package. I don't know. Uh, what that's about but that's how it rang out and like I said I did get some eggs and they had brown eggs and farmers eggs and all kinds of stuff um so I got the jumbo white eggs and I know they're much cheaper at um Aldi but I was already there so these were $1.79 for a dozen eggs The next thing that I got were these apples. I really love these apples a lot. Um, and I usually, for a snack, eat an apple and then some crackers and some cheese. And I'm good on cheese still from the last Trader Joe's haul. Um, I checked on it like the other day, yesterday. I don't know why I said the other day. And then, but my apples were all like bruised and rotting, um, which is really weird because I just got them like a week ago. And I put them in the crisp, like I have a Rubbermaid crisper. Um, I think it's, I think they were like already soft and then I dropped the container and I think that's what made them like break open and stuff. So, um, I got these at Trader Joe's cause I saw them. They were $4.29 and I think they're like $3.99, $2.99 or something around that price at Aldi. But these seemed like I touched them before I got them and they're really firm and I, hopefully these will be a better batch of apples. Um, none of them seem to have any bruises or anything. So I just picked up the apples there. 
even though they were a little bit more expensive. The next thing that I got was some cheese for the pizza. It is a blend of Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and mild provolone cheeses. And I was just gonna get um, like mozzarella, and then I was like, actually, this looks really good. Um, and it said above it, perfect for pizzas. So I'm gonna try this out tonight on my pizza. Oh, and that was $4.99. It's 12 ounces of cheese, and this is like good quality cheese. So I like that. I only got two bags, by the way. The next thing that I got was this roasted garlic sausage. Um, I've hauled this before when I did that Halloween charcuterie platter, and we really, really enjoyed it. So I thought this would be good on top of the pizza. Because I was like, what do I want? Do I want prosciutto? Do I want, you know, I was just thinking of things that I wanted. And I was like, hey, what about that sausage? So I got that. And they also had sun-roasted tomato and they had maple. Um, but I thought that this one would taste the best on pizza. And also last time for the charcuterie, I just microwaved it and it was really good. <laughs> it said, um, it says on the package to grill, pan, fry, broil, or microwave. I think I'm going to microwave it again because it's going to go on the pizza. And this was $3.99. And last time we ate all, all of this but like one sausage. So uh, we really liked it. It's pork free and gluten free. No casing. I like no casing. This is why I like these. I love these. And the last thing that I got for my... um. what's it called? Pizza, I don't could think of the word, was some Baby Bella mushrooms. So, um, oh, you can recycle this carton, that's cool. So I thought mushrooms and the sausage and the cheese would be like a really great pizza. Um, I didn't get like onion or anything because I didn't want to chop it. We might put some like garlic because we got some like squeezable garlic, minced garlic. I'm not sure. So I got these and they also had button mushrooms that were sliced and they also had non-sliced mushrooms. And I probably paid way more than I should have for these mushrooms because I didn't want to cut them. Oh, it does say you still have to wash them, by the way. They were $2.29, actually, that's not that bad. $2.29, we probably won't use all of them. All right, that was it for bag number one. Bag number two is where I got all the, like, cool stuff. So I got these dark chocolate, dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips sprinkled with sea salt. So I like the regular plantain chips. And I saw these by the, um, uh, it was, like, on an end cap when I was waiting to check out. And this person was buying, like, four of them in front of me. And I was like, okay, it must be good. So I'm, I'm going to try these out. Actually, let's just try one right now. Um, these were $2.99, by the way. Interesting. It's definitely a plantain chip, like a dried plantain, and then just a little bit of drizzle chocolate on top. That's interesting. I like it, but I feel like it needs to be mixed with like nuts or something for a trail mix. I don't know. I don't know if I could eat just like those for a snack out of a bag. The next thing that I got were these gummies, X's and O's, soft and chewy gummy candy. And they're very soft, it says. They had a whole Valentine's display. Um, I didn't see the macarons. They had some heart-shaped macarons that um, my Trader Joe's list posted on their Instagram. But um, um, actually one of the flavors was strawberry, so I wasn't gonna get those anyways, but I thought those were really cute. Um, so they didn't have those on the display. 
So I looked and there's no strawberry in it. Let's see if these are, are these vegan? I think they're vegan. Let me show the in the the ingredients again. I don't see any gelatin in it. So my friend that has her channel's um, Sweet Simple Life, she's vegan. We we kind of like watch each other's videos and buy what each other buys. Um, I think these might be vegan. So hopefully I showed the ingredients long enough for you to read it. I just ripped this and it doesn't open. <laughs> I was gonna try one. So I think it's just the color is from black carrot juice and black currant juice. Am I gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to cut this. Hold on. Of course I hit my camera, my bad. Um I think it's because I didn't like rip it like accurately or whatever. Nope, it's still not opening. <laughs> okay. Um, they also, while I'm trying to open this, they also had, um, there we go. It opened after I cut more off. Those are cute. So they also had these Scandinavian, ex very sour, they're called Scandinavian swimmers, I think. Uh, I almost got those, but then people said they were very good, but, um, I didn't get those. I got these instead. Oh, these are good. They're really soft. They expire 1-1-2022. They taste like they would be raspberry, but they're not. I like those, even though they're kind of annoying to open. Um, those were two ninety nine. That's a good price. This is a hefty bag. It's fourteen ounces. Okay. The next thing that I got were some plantain croutons. These have been on my running list to try to find. I'm not going to open these because they'll get stale if I open them. My husband loves planting croutons. Hey, look, they're vegan. Um, and gluten-free. This salad, they were paired with... Um, they were paired with a uh, soup. It was like a spicy dumpling soup, but I we don't like spicy, so I didn't get that. Those were $1.99. Oh, that's a good price. So, I got those. I also got this. And I've been, this has been on my running list to get because everyone says it's very, very, very good. Um, they only had ones that expired 2 to 2021 and today's the 28th, like I said. Um, so I was like, I want to try it. But here's the problem is if I, like, I have tried, I was like, no, I'll get it later. And then, like, I'll get try to get it later and they don't have it and then I'll be like FOMO so I'm I got it and if we just if we just eat a little bit of it then it's fine I'll I have I would have tried it so it's a rich chocolate layer cake and chocolate mousse filling it looks like by the like sorry my ring light um it looks by the packaging that it would like be like raspberry mousse because of the heart but I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the ingredients but I looked at the ingredients and it's just like chocolate, chocolate. So, and it wasn't refrigerated. It was just like out by the bread. So I don't have to put it in the refrigerator, which I find is interesting. They only had three left of those. So I don't think they'll have it closer to Valentine's Day. Those were, that was $3.99. The next thing that I got was these mini heart cookies that are dark chocolate. So they're dark chocolate covered shortbread cookies. And my husband already ate all of the cookie butter cookies. Um, 
So I thought we could try these. Rich Combly Mini Heart Shaped Chocolate Shortbread Cookies Enrobed in Luscious Dark Chocolate and Sprinkle with Pink and White Sprinkles. I don't know how to say that word, so it was sprinkles. Match made in heaven. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze and I was trying not to, but I'm gonna try one. Oh, interesting. They're in a bag. See, the cookie butter cookies, I didn't like that they were like in a tray and you had to like open it very weirdly. Um, by the way, it says Best Buy, June 7th, 2021. It's definitely more chocolate than shortbread. It's very heavy on the chocolate. If you don't like chocolate, I wouldn't get these. It's good. It's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. And at the very end, shortbread. And those were $2.99. I'm almost done. So the very top thing on my list was this. Mochi cake mix. So it's a Hawaiian inspired cake with a chewy mochi texture. Just add water, eggs, and butter. I've been seeing this and I've never seen it at my Trader Joe's. They only had two left at this Trader Joe's and I was like, I'm getting it. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm Hawaiian. So I really want to try this. And people say it just tastes just like Hawaii. So I'm really excited. This was like the first thing I got. This was $3.99. The next thing that I got was this pizza sauce. So it's fat-free pizza sauce, hearty traditional topping for your favorite pizza dough. I was actually just gonna get pasta sauce and then I saw this. So it's just water, tomato paste, cornstarch, salt, sugar, oregano, onion powder, citric acid, basil, basil, garlic powder, and black pepper. It also says you can use it as a mozzarella stick dipping sauce. So I'm gonna put this on the pizza. And this was $1.99. The next thing I got was, this was by, this was on an end cap. So they had roasted garlic marinara, which it was a new item. And these are the ingredients. And they had it with these like, you know like the hard breadsticks that are like, crackers almost they had to buy that and then some of their pasta on like an end cap and they were like italian night um and then they were like get all this stuff breadsticks pasta and this sauce so i wanted to try it out because i usually love their sauces and this was one ninety nine. i have two more things by the way, um, I didn't go to the freezer section at all because I don't have any more freezer space and I will just want everything if I go to the freezer section. So I tried to make this quick. This Trader Joe's was kind of crowded, so I kind of had to like wait in corners and wait to see if I could get my items. Uh, it was kind of a little bit stressful. I like going to my Trader Joe's better because there's always like no one there. Um, so... This one was great because it had like lots of things I haven't seen before, but I don't know if I would go there all the time. So, this next thing I got was chocolate, chocolate oat beverage. You know how I am a fan of the oat beverage. So, I've never seen this before. Um, what I've been doing is doing getting the oat beverage, the regular oat beverage, the one that's refrigerated because there's one that's not refrigerated, and adding um, Midnight Moo chocolate syrup, which is their chocolate syrup, Trader Joe's chocolate syrup. But then they had this, and this was not refrigerated. So um, this was on an end cap with new items. Really excited about this. Could make my own mochas. I just thought of that just now. 
This was 249 and you get 32 fluid ounces. And then I just have one more thing. So they had a bunch of Valentine's Day drinks. So they had strawberry lemonade um, and then they had like berry, um, like a mixed berry drink. And then they had this peach bellini. So it's a wine specialty, it says. And it says, delicious and fruity specialty made with carbonated wine and peach flavor. This unique delight suits perfect to your brunch or any other occasion. Invert gently before opening to mix the fruit pulp. Serve slightly chilled. So I thought this was really good. And I, I, peach bellini is like one of the only drinks that I will, I will drink. I'm not a, I'm not a big drinker. But um, the peach bellini at one of these like local restaurants, me and my friend went there for her birthday. It was really good and I, I actually finished the whole drink. And it's like pretty much unheard of for me not to finish it for me to finish a drink. So I thought maybe for Valentine's Day or for like a special brunch for like my um, wedding anniversary is coming up in March that we could try this out. And this was kind of like an impromptu grab. This was $5.99, which I thought was a good price. All right, that was it for my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, feel free to leave, leave me a comment or a like below. Tell me what you're most excited to see for the Valentine's Day items. And if you could, before you leave, I would greatly appreciate a like or I already said like or comment, my bad. I would greatly appreciate you subscribing to my channel before you left. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.